about how to paint your ceilings. Today we're going to start in the master bathroom because it's a really good place to start when painting ceilings. It's usually the smallest room in the house so it's a good practice slate. The step for that we want to do first when painting a ceiling requires no paint. It's actually cleaning out the bathroom and also cleaning the ceiling. So you're going to want to take all of your towels and anything that could get ruined with paint and you're going to want to throw them in the wash or just get them out of the room so you have a clean slate. And then the next step you want to do, and I even like to use my towels before I throw them in the wash, is just to wipe a towel or a cloth over them to get all the dust and any debris that you may have on there. If you don't get that off, then it's going to be cemented in with the paint and you'll always have that in there and you won't have a nice flat surface. So you're going to want to take out all the towels, wipe down your ceiling, and then you're also going to want to put down painter's tape in any area that you think you may need it. So if you're not really good with freehanding lines, um, you're going to want to paint Put painter's tape along the edge of the ceiling on the wall so you don't get any on your wall. Although I'm going to be painting our walls, so I'm going to use this as a good time to practice my freehand, but not worry about getting paint on the wall since I'm going to be painting those next. Um, and also, if you have any vents or light fixtures, you may want to paint around or tape around those so you don't get paint on those. So first step is to clean and clear out everything, and then we'll move on to our painting. All right, now that we've cleared out the room, we're ready to gather our supplies so we can start painting. We're gonna start with a step stool. That's really essential when you're cutting in in those corners, and I also like to use it for rolling, or you can have an extender if you wanna roll with an extender. We also need to get a drop cloth right here. I use an old sheet that we're not using anymore so we can contain those paint splatters. And we're going to need a tray for our paint and here is our roller when you're at the store it's really easy to figure out which nap you need on your paint roller they label them whether it's a textured wall or a flat wall so you're going to need a flat in this case and then you're also going to need a paint can opener right here i like the metal ones more than the plastic ones and then just a paint stir stick really important to stir that paint and then the key to making a really good straight line on your edges and cutting in is a short handled angled brush. This really helps you get those straight lines and I highly recommend using one, a high quality one too. And then we have our paint. This is the first time I've ever used this type of paint but I'm excited to try and hear good things about Bear. And this is their interior ceiling flat paint. Do you want a ceiling to be flat? If it's glossy, it shows all the bumps and imperfections and those are specially heightened on the ceiling. So you don't want that. And I also like that this was low odor and low VOC since it's a small room especially. You don't want to be breathing in those bad odors. So now that we have our paint, we're ready to start painting. Okay, so we have poured the paint into our paint tray right here and we're going to start cutting in with our brush. So you just want to get a little bit of paint on the brush. Not too much because that causes drips. And then you're going to climb up and start on the corners. And a really good way is you kind of start a little outside where you want the line and then you just move in with your brush so you get right to that edge. So you can have a lot of control right there. You can go back and forth on that. And then you just continue around the corners just slowly moving in. Okay, now we have finished cutting in and you can see I just cut around the edges of the ceiling and around the fan. And that means it is time to roll because the cutting in is all set. First coat is done, still a little blotchy. It needs to dry for two hours. But other than that, it looks good already. After we've waited two hours for the paint to dry and now we're on to our second coat. That means cutting in with a brush and rolling with a roller again making sure you get every spot covered and you just keep long, even strips. And now you're done! All it took was that little bit of prep work and a few coats of paint and your ceiling is looking brand new. Hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching.